Thanksgiving and Easter and Christmas and Valentine's Day, those holidays is not in the Bible. There is holidays in the Bible that we're supposed to keep, but not the ones we keep today. When you celebrate the holidays of America, you celebrate the white man, which put us in slavery. He forced us in slavery to keep Christmas. He forced our ancestors to keep Thanksgiving. It wasn't, we was like, oh yeah, Thanksgiving, yay, no. Pow, nigga, celebrate Thanksgiving. And we did it because we didn't want to die. And then they taught it to their sons and daughters. And now today, we celebrate it freely. So God is calling you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans the men to come and lead the nation. That's right. To say to hell with this world and bring in new Jerusalem. That's the right. new kingdom that's to come. Bring when we gonna rule the earth. That's documented in the Bible. Bring it out. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Read verse 15 again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. So if the Israelites don't keep God's commandments, and his statutes, his statutes is his laws, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told the Israelites that if they break the commandments, the opposite of the blessings that I'm going to give you is curses. He said curses shall come upon you and overtake you. How did our people get to this land? And they shipped, they took so-called Native Americans, you know they went to slavery on ships and were shipped over to Spain and all over the world, to Europe and everything. How did our people get over to this land? Same way. How? How was the blacks brought here? So remember, the Lord told Moses to tell the Israelites, if they break my laws, if they break the commandments, curses is going to happen to them, which is evil things. Right. Why? Why? Because the Israelites made a blood covenant with the Lord that we was going to do what this Bible says when Moses brought us out of Egypt. And the Lord says, whatever promise you, you, you give to me, you better keep it because I'm going to keep mine. God is a, he's real and he's a black man and he's angry with the Israelites. I'm going to ask you a question. Hi, what's your name? Mike. Who? Michael. Michael? Yeah. Hey, don't go nowhere to red, brother. This is very, ain't nothing more important than this truth. That's right. Nothing more important than what you're going to hear right now. This is not the Christian church. You will never hear this in the Christian church because they love the white man. Right. And they serve Esau, the white man. What that white man? This is what they serve in the churches. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. If it's written in the Bible, we got to teach it out of the Bible. Read. 68. Verse 68. Tommy Guns, I want you to listen, bro. Your life is on the line, bro. I grew up with you. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is synonymous for slavery. He says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, meaning the conditions that we was in when we was in Egypt, the same conditions we went through when we was in Egypt, when you read in the book of Exodus, when Moses had to go in there and say, let my people go, they were slaves. So the Lord is telling them the same conditions you went through in Egypt, I'm going to bring you back into that same, same conditions you was in in Egypt. But you're going to go another way. Watch this. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. Look at the signs. Look at these signs right here. Tommy Gunn, how did our people get to America? How did we get here? What you say? On boats, on ships. The Lord said that he was going to bring our people into slavery. Your way back. We went in a, you, you understand, brother, you're old head. You understand that we went into slavery on ships, right? Yeah. The Bible says, God says that he was going to bring our people into slavery on ships. Why did this happen to us? Remember earlier we read, because we did what wrong? We did what? I want to make sure y'all paying attention. Remember, the curses will come upon us if we do what? Break what? If we break God's laws, which is his rules. God said that we would come back into slavery on ships if we broke the commandments. So guess what happened? 
the Israelites broke God's commandments. Remember, Moses was speaking to the Israelites in the beginning. That's right. Let's get that again so they won't forget. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. So y'all can know who Moses is talking to. Because we're not black. We're not African Americans. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, well, and verse 1. I'm finna show you right. I'm finna read it right now. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. You all talking about the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? And to all Israel. So that curse go back, Deuteronomy 28. Who was Moses speaking to? All who? Israel. All Israel. Moses was speaking to the Israelites. And Moses told the Israelites this will happen to him. Read it again. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again. With ship. The Israelites went into slavery on ships. What race of people do you know today went into slavery on ships? Yeah. You. What race of people went into slavery on ships? You just said it. Who? What race? What do we know today as? African Americans. African Americans. But God called us what? I want y'all to. Who called us? He called us Israel. He called us the Israelites. So how did our names get changed to African American, black, nigger, Negro, color? How did our names get changed? That's in the Bible too. Right. Let's finish this scripture. Hey man, I got it. Go and the Lord nowhere, shall right? bring thee into Egypt again go with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We didn't see our homeland as a nation. As a nation, we didn't go back to Israel. That's our land. Read. And there. And there. Once we get off the slave ships. Ye shall be sold. Shall be what? Ye shall be sold. Unto who? Unto your enemy. Remember, I said that who was the enemy? The white man. What race of people sold us? Who sold us into slavery? The who? White man. The white man. And there you shall be what? Use the signs. And the there signs. you shall be sold unto your enemy. It says, and there, once we get off the slave ships, we was gonna be sold. Look at this. We've been sold were, on the auction blocks. They, were, they put this in movies. We got that. Look at this right here. It says once we get off the slave ships, what did they put on our necks? Chains and shackles. They sold us on the auction blocks. 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Niggas sold to Master Charles in Virginia. They took your sons and daughters and sold them to another, another uh, race of people in another city and you never seen your children again. Let's read that right quick, 32. Now these are the problems that's going on in our community. I want you to keep that up. These are the things that happen to us. We're the Israelites. The first thing you got to do is find out who you are because they say if you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going. That's a true statement. That's in the Bible. We must know who we are as a people to know where we're going. Y'all understand? Watch this, 32. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons, thy, who? thy sons and thy daughters. Say your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. He says, shall be given unto another people. Who took our sons and daughters and sold them to another people? Our white man. Who? Our white man. The white man did That's it. Right. God said that he's the enemy. Who would take somebody's kids and sell them? After he and you never see your kids again. Is that a friend? Who would take you and put chains and shackles on your necks? Rape your women, rape your daughters, rape your sons. The enemy, the white man, he did it to us. Why are we telling you that they're the enemy? Because we got to separate ourselves from America. We got to stop celebrating Christmas like the officer was bringing out. Thanksgiving and Easter and Christmas and that, those holidays is not in the Bible. There is holidays in the Bible that we're supposed to keep, but not the ones we keep today. When you celebrate the holidays of America, you celebrate the white man. That's right. Which put us in slavery. He forced us in slavery to keep Christmas. He forced our ancestors to keep Thanksgiving. It wasn't, we was like, oh yeah, Thanksgiving, yay, no. Pow, nigga, celebrate Thanksgiving. And we did it because we didn't want to die. And then they taught it to their sons and daughters. And now today, we celebrate it freely. And don't even ask no damn questions like, where, where, where did Thanksgiving come from? Why are we celebrating it? What, give me that. Why are we celebrate? We don't even ask questions about these things that we're doing today. We just freely celebrate Christmas. Yeah, Jesus was born in 25th of December. Oh, I know Jesus wasn't born in December, but I celebrate it for my kids. You gonna die for your kids. Because the Lord is angry. When you celebrate the holidays of America, you're going against God. There is feast days in this Bible for us to keep. Read that verse. I think it's verse 26. 
The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 16. Thus, in process of time. It says, thus, in the process of time. An ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. It says, through the process of time, this is where it started at. It says, in process of time, an ungodly custom was kept as a law. What is that talking about? An ungodly custom. The holidays that they were for, they were for the there you go, exactly. The holidays that we celebrate today, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, they set those up as laws in this land. That's right. Y'all understand? Make this is where it started. They put that, that chain on your neck and say, nigga, you going to celebrate Christmas. Yeah. You going to celebrate Thanksgiving. This is my holiday. They did it to the Mexicans and the Puerto Ricans too. The Mexicans and the blacks and the Hispanics are the same people. We are the Israelites. We are the same people. And it's time for us to come back to this Bible and do what the Bible says. I'm good. I'm Deuteronomy 28. Matter of fact, let me read this verse. 28 verse 48. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Remember that ungodly custom that grows strong. Today we celebrate these holidays. This is where it started, where they forced us to do this. Today we just do it freely and ask no questions. But when we come out and read the Bible to our people, nigga, what you talking about? Nigga, you don't know what you saying. But they don't got no Bible in their hand. They don't even read the Bible when they go home. But we came out here to bring the solutions to our people. All you got to do is listen to the word of God, not us. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. God said, because we broke the commandments, you're going to serve your enemies. You're going to serve your enemies. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who sent them against us? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who sent the white man against us? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. God sent the white man against us. He was not playing. He said, if you break my commandments, Moses, I want you to tell them they're going to be cursed. They're going back into slavery. Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee, and hunger. So when we want food, who do we gotta go? Who do we gotta go to for food? The white man. Who owned all the grocery stores? The white man do. Even if a black man owned a grocery store, where do he get his product from? The white man. That's what it means to serve your... Our people don't own nothing in this country. He said you're gonna get your food from your enemies. And in thirst. When you want something to drink, who got the water? Who control the water in your house? The white man, the government. The white man controlled. They set this stuff up. We didn't do it. They forced us to do all this stuff for free. We set up this country for free. The water that comes through your house, guess who controls it? The white man. You don't pay your water bill, they cutting that water off. Don't go nowhere, Tommy Gunn. Read. And in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron. Look at that right there. Iron. Upon thy neck. Upon thy neck. What people had yokes of iron on their necks? Who did this? Who did it? But who did it? The white man did it. It's okay to say it. They did it. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 